Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you my top picks for spring polishes. You're definitely going to see some patterns with these. I didn't like go through and try to like pick a color, uh, like a polish for each color or anything like that. It was just literally what was standing out to me and I felt like I wanted to wear for this spring. Some of these are kind of like dupes for each other. I have 13 polishes. I did want to stick to 10, but uh, I have three polishes that's basically the same color, so I thought I would show them to you and like give you some options. Uh, but yeah, let's just get started. So I pulled two Orly polishes, uh, both from their new spring collection. The first one is Sea Spray, and that is just this white with this almost coppery looking shift. Just very, very pretty and... I just felt like it was one of my favorites from the collection and it definitely screams spring. It's like coming out of the winter, that sunshine hitting the white. I don't know. It's just, it, it clicked in my brain. So Sea Spray was one of my first picks. And then another one from the same collection was Sea Blossom. Probably my favorite, even though it's just a cream. Um, probably my favorite from the collection. So these are the two that I picked. Love both of them and they definitely give me spring vibes. Okay, one kind of similar to Sea Blossom is Whirly Pop by D&D. &D. Whirly Pop is a little bit brighter and I just absolutely love this polish. My sister actually wore it not too long ago. Actually, me and her both have wore it. So it's just very, very bright and very fun and it screams spring. So, Whirly Pop by D&D. &D. And then I have an LA Color Polish. I knew instantly that this one was going to be in my picks. And this is Splashy. One of my favorite blues in my collection. It is just absolutely perfect. It makes me think of blue skies. And, yeah, I think it's perfect for spring. Very pastel, but still bright. So, Splashy. And then from the new Monsters, Inc. collection that I just... Um, Unboxed by Pampered Polish. I uh, threw in 2319. This one was my favorite from the collection and it just made me think of like an Easter egg or something. So I really, really love this one. And again, that one's called 2319. I have one from Sinful Colors. I just recently bought this one and it is a bright yellow very very sunshiny and beautiful and the formula on this is actually really good I've, I've already wore it once and it's called yolo yellow very bright and happy then i have three from mooncat and the first one is tectonic shift and this just makes me think of wildflowers starting to grow from grass it's definitely a spring shade in my opinion. Oh, here's me talking and she's whining. But I think this is absolutely beautiful. There are so many color shifts in there. But definitely excited to wear this one for spring. This may actually be my polish that I'll wear for Easter. We'll see. And the other two from Mooncat are two from the Alice in Wonderland collection. First one is Do You Play Croquet? And it's just this beautiful orchid pink. Definitely fill in the pink polishes. So, kind of similar to Whirly Pop as far as tone. Obviously, Whirly Pop's a cream where this is chocked full of all kinds of iridescent flakies and hollow glitter. But I'm just really feeling this kind of color. And then the other one for from Mooncat is also from the Alice in Wonderland collection. And it is Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much. Kind of similar in tone to Splashy. But a little bit more green, I think. Like a little bit of a green tone in there with all those shifts and stuff. But absolutely gorgeous. Love this polish. Kids are being so loud. But yeah, this one is just absolutely beautiful and I think it is so very springy. Then I have two from Caption Polish. This one is a little bit different. It's a little bit more muted. But it is this green with a shift in there. And this one is actually called Spring Forward. 
definitely gives me like grassy vibes a little bit similar in tone to tectonic shift so definitely feeling this kind of green very very pretty and then one more from caption polish and this is the one that has a couple dupes but this is me first and it is this beautiful light lilac purple one of my favorite shades in general but for spring this really stands out to me so I have the me first in caption and then I have an essay one in lilacism not exactly the same um, me first leans a little bit more blue where the essay one leans a little bit more like a, a dusty pink or gray even just a little bit more warm toned and then I have a new color, which you can actually get at the Dollar Tree. It's just called 910. These don't have names, but it is an almost spot-on dupe for me first. So I wanted to grab all of these. So this color in general. But yeah, I know this is a quick video, but I just wanted to show you some of my picks for spring. Some of the polishes I'm excited to wear. And then in summer, I go more for like the oranges and like colors like this. I love this for summer. Um, more like bright in your face kind of colors. But these are, you know, some pastel-y, softer colors that still have some pizzazz to them. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I love you guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite polish is for spring. And, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.